This video contains mature subject matter with themes and imagery that some viewers may find frightening. Viewer discretion is advised. I'm standing right now on Cuthbert Road in southwest Oxford, just south of Sweeburg. It was on this quiet country road in 1873 when one of the most tragic and infamous massacres occurred in Oxford County. Timothy Topping lived on this road on a farm with his 42-year-old wife, Sarah, and his eight surviving children. On the morning of December 21st, 1873, just four days before Christmas, Timothy Topping awoke around 5 a.m. before the rest of his family was awake. Without warning, he grabbed an ax and then proceeded to kill his four youngest children, Newton, Mary, Martha, and Bruce, all between the ages of five and 12 years old. He then moved back to the bedroom where his wife was sleeping and killed her as well. Before she was killed, she managed to yell out for help. Her, one of her oldest sons, Hamilton, awoke upon hearing his mother cry out. Upon waking, Hamilton heard his father yell, I have killed them all, and now I will kill myself. He woke up his younger brother, Henry, and together they managed to find their father and wrestle the weapon out of his grasp. After the initial chaos died down, Timothy went around as his oldest children watched as he kissed each of his victims, his younger children and his wife, who he had just killed minutes before. One of his younger sons woke up at this point and went downstairs. Upon seeing the scene, he screamed and Timothy chased him out of the house. He fled and got help from nearby. Timothy then very calmly sat down in a chair and started writing a confession letter about what he had just done. He stated that he had killed them all in the name of love and he then wrote to his older surviving children how they should live out the rest of their lives. Timothy was then arrested a short while later for his crime. The reason behind Timothy's massacre, only he will truly know. But there were rumors that he was in great financial debt and had several business failings. So he was likely in fear for how he would provide for his family and was thinking that he may not want them to live their lives out in poverty. His daughter Jane, around 10 years earlier, had also died at a young age, and it was said that this greatly affected his mental health. He fell into a deep depression. During his trial in April of 1874, several medical experts stated that he was of unsound mind at the time of the crime. Despite this, he was convicted and sentenced to hang on June 16th. Awaiting his execution, he was sent to the London Lunatic Asylum. While he was there, he had a conversation with a guard and lashed out. The guard hit Timothy with his nightstick in the head and almost killed him instantly. The Topping House no longer stands on this road, but the tale of that horrible morning and the memory of the massacre continues on to this day in local lore.